and welcome back to Lost in Libby for what's maybe the first video I'm going to put out in 2023, so a good new year to you all. This is actually my second trip out today, my first trip having, it's my second trip out today, going back to the same place as I went the first time, a place I very rarely visit. For all that I make a big thing, have the path network in Livingston, I hardly ever visit Livingston Town Centre. And there are those who would say, and who would blame me? However, I needed to get a key cut. I've got a new lock fitted, or I'd fitted a new lock myself. And uh, I need a spare key. Oof. So I come out this morning to get a key cut. And I did get the key cut. On the journey this morning, It was dry and sunny, it was a lovely morning. The weather forecast was for heavy rain this afternoon and sure enough the heavy rain got me on the way home. And I got home and I tried the new key in the lock and guess what? It didn't work. It's not been cut that accurately. So I waited for the rain to come off, to go off, and for my jacket, my trousers and my shoes to dry off, which they've done. And I'm heading back out to take it back to get it redone. So of course, uh, being this time of year, it's only quarter past four, but it's beginning to get dark. So we'll have the fun of a ride home up the hill in the dark. So let's see how we get on. Welcome to Levy Town Centre. Mostly empty stock, empty shops now. Pandemic sort of a lot of the big retail stores. Four storeys of car parking. If you're lucky, you'll find a bike shelter. And in fact, I'm going to be parking my bike in what is possibly the best bike shelter around Livingston Town Centre. It's got Sheffield stand type locks and an actual shelter. Right, just gotta walk up the bike. Job done. Both original key, new key. They both look reasonably good. Right, let's see how we get on back up the hill. 
Come on. There's the other sand that I was in. Pull my socks up just a wee bit. Try and keep getting my ankles warm. It's getting chilly. The cloud that brought the rain has cleared and it's becoming quite a clear sky, so expecting some a drop in temperature tonight. <coughs> Garmin going, I knocked it off straight there, right, that's better. It's called the Rolling River. I'd like you to come down and look at it on a sunny day. Catch all the colours and all the animals and new creatures that are encapsulated in, in its beautiful mosaic. I have, a vid I have a video up on, I think it's called uh, Three Go, no it's not Three Go on a bike ride, I think it's Livy Art Walk, I think it was called. My two grandchildren narrated the story of several sculptures around Livingston Centre. Including my favourite artwork, you probably can't see in the dark, you maybe see it silhouetted there. It's called the community. I really like that. Water is wet and your discs are wet and mucky from the wet weather, but they're trying out now. It's grippy. Right. Hospital path, and then I cut across to Augustine path. Hey, we changed the lights, stop the traffic, I think.
some new signage here. New path, new route signage incorporating a lot of the paths. Gonna make a series of videos on that sometime. Uh, there's some new signage being put up along the Alderstone Path. Which I suspect, well, I'm pretty certain, is implementation of a report produced in May 2018. This is now January 2023, so it's almost five years old. That's the report was requested by West Lothian Council to assess the Alderstone Path, which runs pretty much between Livingston North Station and Livingston South Station, for signage, which would be better suited to active travel. There's somebody else. Thanks. Here. And an East Kilbride firm was contracted to to do the to do the kind of uh, produce the report. And they had a couple of guys out walking and cycling Alderstone Path, and they were tasked with producing a, a detailed report on the signage and as an addendum to the report to make suggestions based on a desk-based paper exercise of how other paths in Livingston could be connected up together in a new uh, routes map. The report was really good. I was very impressed with it. I, I came across it on, online uh, when I was researching. I came across it online when I was researching uh, paths for when I started the, the channel about uh, the, the Path Network in Livingston, make sure I didn't miss anything out. So the, the, one of the main suggestions that was made was to label the signs with distances marked in time. An estimated time for walking or cycling to a destination. So they haven't quite finished putting up all the signs yet for the Alderstone Path. And I've noticed quite a few mistakes.
Thanks. So yeah, I've already spotted two or three just complete errors. I would set somebody in completely the wrong direction if they don't know where they are. And in some of the times on them, there's a couple of my errors at the time. But I think a lot of the times are actually quite optimistic. Times that I struggle to beat on an e-bike with knowledge of the route. And a reasonable bit of cycling fitness. So one of my plans for this year, now that I see these signs beginning to go up, is to do some sort of review of the routes. Check out the reality of some of the times on the, on the new signage check out the viability of some of the routes for cycling because as I say these were a paper exercise for most of the routes I forgot about one of the routes and uh, just watching for in case there's anyone round the corner here now, a paper exercise doesn't necessarily doesn't substitute for on the ground experience and as far as I know very few well, I don't know if any cycling groups or organizations folk like the West Lothian Bike Library for instance were consulted in any, in any way in the preparation of the report because uh, there are a lot there are a few of us using bikes on the, on the paths and uh, we could, I'm sure we could all, certainly I know I could, suggest improvements. And uh, better signage than an expensive consultancy. There we are. So I'm almost home now. So that's the end of the vlog, or the video, thanks for riding with me, Lost and Libby.